even if the transplanted cells are dead. But most corneal scars need replacement with a full thickness graft, which will remain clear only if its endothelium is undamaged. The endothelial viability can be preserved for periods longer than two to three days only by deep freezing the donor eye, taking it down slowly to about minus 79 degrees centigrade, and then, when needed, rapidly thawing it again. For storage longer than a few months, a still lower temperature is desirable, like that of liquid nitrogen, minus 197 degrees centigrade. During the freezing, banking and thawing, the corneal endothelium needs protection by injecting a medium containing dimethyl sulfoxide into the anterior chamber soon after the eye has been removed. This is managed by inserting a special needle through the eye wall, which has outlet holes on its shaft, through one of which the aqueous can escape as the sulfoxide enters by the other. Here we see the eyes reaching the eye bank laboratory in their special transport box made of foam polystyrene. An ice bag in its central compartment keeps a constant temperature just above zero. The eye is removed from its container. The needle is inserted, passing behind the iris at each side. Stylus is removed and the medium containing dimethyl sulfoxide is injected. The accidental air bubble you see serves to confirm that fluid is passing freely into the anterior chamber. When the aqueous has been entirely replaced, the needle is withdrawn and the puncture hole sealed by a cautery. The donor eye is now placed in a glass ampoule and immersed in a medium containing glycerol to protect the epithelium against damage occurring at low temperatures. The ampoule is closed by a rubber stopper to prevent overspill, bacterial contamination. The ampoule is placed into the bag, made of aluminium foil and coated with polythene, and finally sealed by heat to prevent the entry of fluid and carbon dioxide. The ready specimen is taken to the cooling machine, placed into the rack and lowered into the cooling bath. The machine cools the eyes at first at the rate of 1 degree per minute down to minus 15 degrees centigrade and then at the rate of 5 degrees per minute to minus 70 degrees centigrade. The process takes about 45 minutes and is recorded as a graph. When the temperature of minus 70 degrees centigrade is reached, the specimen is transferred to the bank, here stored at minus 197 degrees centigrade in liquid nitrogen. On the day of the operation, the eyes are transferred to minus 79 degrees centigrade for slow recovery to that temperature. Immediately before operation, the eyes are taken out of the carbon dioxide, the bag is opened, and the frozen specimen is placed and agitated in a water bath of about plus 65 degrees centigrade. As soon as all the ice attached to the cornea has disappeared, although the lens and vitreous are still frozen, the eye is handed over to the surgeon.